Hi guys, my name is Hope and I'm a Cedaholic. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. I remember telling you hmm, a month ago, I was going to show you sprouts when I got sprouts and I got sprouts from my winter sewing. Remember how, St. Day. happy St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. But remember how I took these milk jugs and juice containers and things from trash to treasure? We're going to show you the treasure. Oh, you're going to pull the mic away. You're going to pull me over. So we've got some sprouts here. I've got sprouts in my um, butter crunch lettuce here. And these um, seeds I actually got from Trinity Angel and Kiddo over at UT33200 channel. And um, this is Maruba Santo. It's either a Chinese type Napa or a bok choy. I'm not sure which. That was sent to me by my friend Trolley at Baby Bo's Seeds. And yes, sir. Keep going. Minor lettuce. Oh, and look how many Miner's lettuce sprouts are in there. Can you see that? And then you stand still. Sorry, okay. I'll stand still. And I mean, we're going to be eating good off of that not too long from now. And those are very cold tolerant. Um, I don't think they're perennials, but I can't wait to get them in the ground. There's virus play spinach in that one. Um, um, that has a bunch of sprouts too. And I forget what else. Oh, Romanesco here. Um, if you guys remember my first visit to Garden Club last year, I won a, um, garden, um, basket in the raffle. Well, I won a little, um, um, gardening kit. And these are sprouts from the Romanesco broccoli from that kit. So again, I say to my friend Julie from church, thank you for inviting me to Garden Club because that's going to be awesome. And what else did I have? So what are we looking at? How many, uh, what is this broken into? Oh, the back ones um, are the ones that have not germinated um, yet, hopefully. And the ones in front all have. Don't want to... February 17th planting. Yes. And then this one was... Um, and then I guess I went a little crazy and did it again March 5th. And we're going to do some more today on St. Patrick's Day. And today I actually am going to start a few of the warmer weather crops that can kind of take a little bit more um, coolness. And then in April I'll start my tomatoes and peppers. I can't do that yet. It's too cold still. So I'll probably... None of these are getting planted yet. We're still... They got to... They got to get a little bit bigger. Yes, there's no true leaves yet. It's just sprouts, but I'm happy that they're sprouting. Just wanted to show you guys this works. Remember, Cheryl Mann, the Juicing Gardener's channel, she will show you how to do this step by step if you don't want to watch a bunch of videos because she's got over 100 um, in her playlist, but uh, they're so entertaining when she does her reveals is how I got started. If you don't want to watch a bu bunch of videos, you can read all the information on Trudy David Offside called wintersown.org and that's the site I got that educational pack where I uh, made the video which I will link seed hall gotta collect them all and I got so many seeds I was absolutely overwhelmed I'm still using and sharing those seeds from that first educational pack although I do buy another one every year because I do plant and grow to share with people in my life my co-workers my congregation and most importantly my food pantry and I'm gonna take a minute and tell you why um, I always tell you guys grow extra give it to your local food pantry they can use it and I know this because when I got sick and had my stroke eight years ago um, unfortunately I got laid off and my husband got laid off at the same time and I thought oh my gosh how am I gonna feed these kids I had two children in my home under 18 at the time well I happen to be going to a free gardening class and a lady says something about a food pantry every Monday and I wasn't working I said um can anybody go and she said yes so I went and I signed up and they took such great care of me and my family until my husband was able to get back to work and so ever since then I've always tried to give them a little bit of whatever I've grown the first year I gave them herbs because that's all I had to spare the second year I gave them tomatoes herbs and I for and lettuce I think third year I've been adding to it every year. That's why I keep saying I want to be squash forward because my hope is this year I'm going to give them a hundred pounds of food. And last year 
between all the people I donut to, my family, my friends and co-workers, and the pantry, we gave away 55 pounds of food and fed ourselves. So the goal this year is to feed our family and to feed a whole bunch of other families as a, as a way of giving back and saying thank you and appreciation for what they did for us. So when I tell you all, plant something extra, one or two plants, they really, really do need it. When I started going in 2012, our local pantry was feeding 35 families a year. Now, or not a year, um, 35 families a week. Now they are feeding over 200 families a week. So if you garden and you're good at it and you have extra, please consider giving to your local food pantry. They can really, really use the help. And as always, happy gardening. And this is why I always wish you blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. See you guys next time. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. This is the video to share. If you don't share any other video on the gardening community, please, please, please share this one. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. God bless.